But my dad, so my dad um, actually went to jail. Really? Um, for not ratting on someone <gasps> during a weed deal gone terribly wrong. Oh, wow. No in um, way. Connecticut, where I'm from. And he he was in jail for like, I think it was like six months. Wow. And I don't Wait, know. how old were you in this? So happened? I didn't fucking know this until like a couple years ago. My mom like, that is what? Italian. That Spell is Spell the bean. Italian. We need a button that says Spell this the is bean. Oh, that would be great. That so, be great. But, but I live in a part of Connecticut that's not the fancy, bougie, Fairfield, you know, whatever, Westport. I live in the Italian American southern part of that. Yeah. And, you know, he grew up as a kid on the block and like he actually was in foster care for a minute when the town flooded in some random flood of the 50s. And like he had six, bro six brothers all together. They had a bakery. Okay, guys. Yeah. I mean, we're to on the topic of Sicilian, so I'm just wow. telling you. So they had a bakery. The bakery was called Mama Romano and Six Sons. Wow. And so it's a great like, name. my wow. grandfather beat them with crowbars. Okay. And that's how we put them in line. <laughs> they were oh, really shit. bad kids. <laughs> I don't know. Good. Maybe that's the Damn. Same. That took yeah. a turn. No, yeah. sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry, 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 sorry. Going. You know what? You're right. It did take a turn. But okay, <laughs> fine. I win as the, the, the person who said the crazy shit because sometimes it's him. Yeah, sometimes it's him. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's, yeah. the, so there's crowbars, a lot of heavy right? coming out in these conversations. Yeah, let's I love be honest. Oh, gosh, can you, can so he, he ends up, you know, working at this bakery for most of uh, my mom's life until I come around. Uh, when they're married and everything, and they have four kids. And m my mom says, no, you're going to now go to work, and I'm finally going to stay home with our fourth baby. And then, I, and then six years later, I start the business. So it was a really interesting dynamic. Yeah. And then, of course, when you split up years later, you, in the business, you're kind of always, always displaced from your family when you're young, and unless your family comes with you and you have a smaller family, which you're very blessed to do. But he... I never knew he'd always kind of like assume the position of being Tony Romano, so to speak. But I never really knew anything about it. I was like, this fucking guy, he's just like posing as this like wannabe gangster. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But in the end, a couple of years ago, I found out he was he actually was the Tony Romano. All he wanted to be was a gangster. Oh, wow. my God. Wait, yeah. so for both of you, when you came to L.A. to do the show, you're, if I remember correctly, your parents, your dad wasn't here, right? Your dad stayed. He stayed in Chicago. And your mom came here. And my to mom took you. a leave of absence from work to be out here with me. My dad would fly out like once a month to be with us as much as he could. I'm an only child, so that like we, we had a life that allowed for that, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know why I thought you had a brother. No, okay. always wanted. Hold on, to I want to go back to this Wait, for a and second. Then, side note. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Is your dad a gangster too? He yeah. no, he'll never admit that we ever had any ties. But my great grandfather. <laughs> Uh, made hand rolled Cuban cigars called La Ferlita cigars that uh, and Al Capone was one of his top clients. Whoa! Oh, this is crazy. Yeah, my dad and his siblings grew up um, in like a like kind of a two flat in Chicago, mm -hmm. and you know one of those brick buildings, mm -hmm. and uh, the the bottom floor was the cigar factory, I think, where they would like hand roll cigars, and then they lived upstairs. That's incredible. But yeah, I, like since I was a little girl, I was like, "Are you sure? Are you sure <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. not?" And he's like, "Oh, I'll never tell." Oh yeah, yeah, they never wow. tell. Yeah. So like, wait a minute. So since your dad wouldn't rat, I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. Does that mean like you guys, your lawyer was taken care of by the family, or I was I don't that... know. You think you're the most interesting, and then you grow up and you're like, "Oh, my oh, yeah. parents have their yeah. own lives, yeah, and and backgrounds, and you know, totally. Yeah. They're, they're, they're not just mom and dad, mm. right? Yeah, yeah, they actually had a whole world before you showed up. Yeah, but both of your parents were kind of separated by working yeah. In, yeah. in in yeah. L.A. I think we had that in common yeah. too. Yeah, and how our moms were friends. They were friends. They're they were friends. friendly, right? Yeah. And AJ's mom, a twitty yeah. twitty AJ's mom. They were friendly because AJ's and mom was also in, my mom's a nurse, and AJ's mom was a nurse, so they mm -hmm. bonded on that, and then. And your mom was so welcoming to my mom. Oh, like, sure. She loved her. And they her. spent a lot of time together. I mean, all of our parents, I feel like they were mm -hmm. they were there just to sort of, you know, be our guardians. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, they were yeah. very hands-on. They were very yeah. good mothers, totally. I would say. I, I, in terms of, I'm not saying in terms of, for at least my mom, in terms of the way she treated me, per se, behind closed doors, you know, because, she, again, people have limitations. But at the same time, I think her intentions were were right yeah. like i think she was trying to protect me the best that she could even if she oh it was almost like an overcorrection sometimes where right. she would like kind of push people away that, this is a gnarly business yeah, yeah you know yeah, and yeah, i feel yeah. like they probably also didn't have the wherewithal to know what we were getting into mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. that's extremely hard to navigate 
Yeah, it's 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 very hard. Yeah. It's very what, hard. How how was that on your like? Do you recall how that was on your parents' relationship with each other? Because you started in theater and traveling and stuff. I did. Yeah, I did a lot of professional theater in Chicago and in traveling, like with the Streisand concert. Like we were on tour, and that was like the first taste of I think our family sort of, you know, living apart. Um, my dad came to Australia when we did the Streisand shows out there. Um, and well, he came to all the shows, mm-hmm. but my mom was with me primarily for all the rehearsals and all of that. Um, I mean, I felt very lucky. Like I said, like being the only child, it was possible. Um, but yeah, it was hard. I feel like, I, you know, I've never actually asked my mom like how yeah. that was yeah. for her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I, I would imagine it was lonely. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I would think so. It's got to be because you were away for a long time. Right. Yeah, it's like they miss their hut. They lose their partner, yeah. right? I mean, husband. And, and and you're also in a place that again, they're just human. Mm-hmm. That when you suddenly have a lot of time to yourself, yeah, you might start wanting different things. I don't mean a mm-hmm. different person, but mm-hmm. you're finding right. like a like you're you're living a new life now, yeah, than what you yeah. were used to. Well, yeah. and I don't know if you've experienced this, but AJ and I have talked about like how close he became with his mom and how close I was with my mom at certain times because mm. we were. I was a transplant too, and I yeah. I was like an actor kid so i didn't go to a regular high school like you guys were my high school mm-hmm. i and was like, thinking about that meeting yeah. people yeah. you know dude i it, was thinking about that yeah. yesterday i don't know right before i fell asleep but i'm so glad you brought that up like yeah you know you 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 your job is to portray a high schooler right or, or somebody experiencing those yeah. kinds of things and then you're seeing it portrayed in movies a little bit older than you because we were on a kid's show remember but we still needed to feel like a representation of what we saw in those movies, even though those actors were in their 30s. Right, yeah. You know, right. or we watched Dawson's Creek because we were normal kids and we <laughs> yeah. were trying to watch those yeah. things. But then in the side, in the back of our mind, we're like, oh, this is what I need to act like. Yeah. And also, this is what I'm missing out on. So there was always this desire to be normal and to feel normal. Um, but the, every kid feels that way. Like, every kid is super insecure about... It's just a hormonal right. thing. Oh, yeah. God, But yeah. for us, we were like those homeschool kids where totally. it's like, oh, God, what am I not getting? And so we would end up pairing up and like try to like meet guys that were like actors too. <laughs> Do you remember the <laughs> night I met Sam Levine? You were there. I was there. Oh, my God. Was there. We had a birthday party. When was Wait, this? Wait, was it your birthday? Wait, do you know who it? that is? This no. is the act. This first. This is my first boyfriend. He's just. You know what? him? No. Who was okay. he? In? What, Wait, what, I ran into him he? not too long ago. Oh too. my god. Um. Yeah, we had a birthday party either for you or for him. No, no. We were at. It we, was, wait, wait. Well, we were, I, no. It, there was a sushi <laughs> dinner. No, no, that wasn't it. We no? were already dating. No, wait. I don't, yeah, maybe, there? maybe you were. Yeah, wait, how, you were how, definitely. How old were you? Okay, hold on. You... <laughs> wait, how old were you guys? Seventeen, because yeah. I was turning eighteen. Yeah, oh, and then man. I think in the eighteenth year we started dating. But listen, 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 listen. So <laughs> listen, we were listen. at okay with Eric Youngman, right? Because we all had crushes on Eric Youngman. Oh, who didn't? <laughs> wait, who is Eric Youngman? Still Ivan. Oh, he played oh, 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 Ivan. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. funny, adorable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys, yeah. I stand you guys to be together, but like, <laughs> he was he was trouble. He was like trouble, even though he was yeah. like the nerdy guy. He had like a cool He's got vintage swag. car. He's got like, is that funny? <laughs> we all were like crushing on Ivan. Yeah, like all people in the cast. <laughs> yep. But he was in this high school movie, mm-hmm. a really popular high school movie called Not Another Teen Movie. Mm-hmm. He invites us to go see it. At- Wait, I was dating Cody at the time. <gasps> who? Yeah, Cody. I remember yeah. this, but who was He's Cody? Cody. He was in the movie. Oh, yeah. He played the not, kid. Not the little brother, TV. right? Yeah, he, mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Who, who's Cody? Do I know? What's Bro, this, is, this, this conversation is not for us. <laughs> no, but okay. it is for yeah, the we'll, fans, we'll though. I'm so excited just, to have just, a girl well, in the studio. I know. I'm, it's, <laughs> no, it's, it's great. Like, I'm actually enjoying This is like my life. This is my life growing up. You're happy for me. Yeah, just watching the girls. Big Bro's just got a sit this one yeah. out plus i think our fans that that are listening are hearing us uh spill some tea yeah. well you know you, you have a little girl moment like sure. you're pulling your hair over here i know i'm really like, excited <laughs> i'm really excited so basically we we're the only cool place to hang out at okay was well city walk city walk yeah. so we would Universal go to city walk we were, it was wow. the only all ages place that we could all convene. were you guys still at oakwood at this time we didn't live at oakwood we i lived at oakwood for a, a we all time, lived at oakwood but, at different times yeah. Yeah. right like yeah. and it was like it was kind of like the bar that everyone ends up at that's right. like oakwood our totally. cheers yeah like you don't want to go there yeah. <laughs> i fucking hate it no there's no. horrible memories there but you still end up there or you go it was like a rite of, of passage yeah <laughs> if you were yeah. a kid actor you lived well, in oakwood for and a time. it was yeah. a place where there's kind of like a scene there's yeah. bars and restaurants where you can be and walk around even if you're not 
Oh, it's at City Hall. You could get right. dropped yeah. off. It's like five exactly. minutes away. <laughs> we're at the movie. It's like the Grove. And basically. all of a sudden, this kid who's in front of us is this like Sam Levine kid. He's like this other character actor. Yeah. She's dating the friend. She's dating literally the friend of his from the movie. Right. And so I'm like, oh, okay. And he shoots a shot. The shot is hit. In you know, <laughs> the shot is hit. I took the hit of the shot. Ended up dating oh. the guy. Um, and so it was funny though, because we yeah. never talked about this, okay? Like since it happened. <laughs> and so yeah. she was there to see that. And that was my first boyfriend. So yeah. wow. we experienced. Thanks so much for watching this clip of the Even More Stevens podcast. For full episodes, check us out on Apple, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you get podcasts. Do you want more of us in your life? Well, then join our Patreon today. Link is in the description.